Good morning, everybody! Pepper and I are really excited today because today we're going to do a review on Katy Perry's latest fragrance, Meow! <laughs> okay, so to begin the review, let me show you the box. This is the box that it came in. It's a pink box with silver in between and then fades into pink again. This bottle that I got is actually a one ounce bottle. I got it off eBay for only $20. Can you believe that? Because the person I bought it from said that it was a bottle that was given out during the release of this perfume at The Grove in New York. Anyway, they don't really sell this size. This perfume is sold in the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle, which costs $45, and the 3.4 ounce bottle, which costs $65. And unfortunately, right now, it's only exclusive to Nordstrom and Nordstrom.com. But of course, besides Nordstrom, you can always get it at trusty eBay, but of course, these sellers always overprice stuff that you can't readily get anywhere, so I've seen it on eBay from like 75 to 100 something dollars for the big bottle. So definitely not a choice. This is the bottle right here. I think all the bottle sizes look the same. It's an opaque pink bottle inspired by vintage milk bottles. It's opaque pink. And then she has a really cute M charm, of course, for Meow. Moving on to the scent. Um, according to Katy Perry, this scent was inspired by the magical world of California. So from that, we can say that this perfume she wanted this perfume to smell really sweet and candy-like, and on me, honestly, it smells like cotton candy, sugar, and vanilla. It smells so good. Unfortunately, the lasting power isn't so good. I wore it last night to work, and it only lasted me like two hours top, so lasting power may vary from person to person depending on your skin, but on me, it only lasted two hours or less than four hours, whatever, and I had to spray a lot for me to be able to smell it. Let's move on to the scent notes. I got this information from Fragrantica.com. I don't know what I do without that website. It's so, so, so helpful. So the opening notes are tangerine, pear, jasmine, and gardenia, and the Heart notes are Honeysuckle, Lily of the Valley, and Orange Blossom. And on the base, it has Amber, Vanilla, Sandalwood, and Musk. So, really, really sweet notes. Basically, it smells like cotton candy in a cloud of vanilla, as another YouTuber would say. And as you may have observed, I also have other scents here on the table with Meow, because, in my opinion, it smells very similar to these three scents that I have right here. So this one here is the Harajuku Lovers Limited Edition Jingle G scent that came out for Christmas. Obviously she's dressed in a scent suit. And the notes on this one for the opening are starfruit, tangerine, gardenia, heart or honeysuckle, jasmine, and orange blossom, and the base has vanilla, cedar, and benzoin. And this is the very, very popular Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Notes are wild berries and mandarin for the opening. The heart has honeysuckle, gardenia, and jasmine. And the base has amber, caramel, vanilla, sandalwood, and pralines. So right off the bat, we can say that these scents, okay, these three scents have very, very, very similar notes. They intersect with each other. That's why they smell really close to each other. I guess the Viva La Juicy would be more of a floral vanilla, the Meow would be a straight up vanilla, and Jingle G would be a fruity vanilla. This conspicuous looking pink bottle right here is actually a scent I got from Forever 21 a few months ago. It's called Love and Beauty. I couldn't find the notes on this, but this is an EDT and it only sells for like I think 13 something dollars and it smells so much like all of these scents so if you're not really after the bottle which I think a lot of people are because it's super cute and you just want to smell like these perfumes then I would recommend you just purchase Love and Beauty because that's a substantial amount of fragrance right there and it's only 13 dollars compared to the rest of these which are considerably a lot pricier okay and I also have the sister scent to Meow, which is Purr, here with me, just to compare the size of the bottle. My Purr here is 3.4 ounces, and this is 1 fluid ounce, so the 1.7 fluid ounce would be somewhere in the middle. My 
I just wanted to show you these because some people have been saying that they've been smelling similarities between the two, but officially, really, the scent notes that intersect with each other are peach, jasmine, musk, vanilla, and amber. So I guess the common scent would be vanilla and amber, but her is more of a fruity floral, and meow is, like I said, a straight up sweet vanilla scent. Yeah, that is my quick review on the Katy Perry Meow fragrance. I hope you like it and I'm really really looking forward to getting the gift set if they ever come out with one and I'll see you in my next video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!